Welcome back, true believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans, to another very exciting episode of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 101. Now recently, even though we are still waiting for the next major piece of footage to be revealed for Marvel's Spider-Man 2, there has actually been some brand new information and misinformation that has been spread about the game as of late. So for this 101 video, I thought I'd take the time to fully set the record straight while also updating you on some brand new features that will be incorporated into Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And if you're excited for anything relating to Marvel Spider-Man 2, especially knowing that the game is only 65 days away until it releases worldwide, then definitely be sure to flip that like button and subscribe to the channel for any major Marvel Spider-Man 2 news and updates. So to get you all in the loop as to what's been going on recently, all of this crazy hullabaloo originates from the official PlayStation website, where the official webpage for Marvel Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation website was recently updated with a FAQ page. Which, in case you don't know, FAQ stands for Frequently Asked Questions. And in typical FAQ fashion, the page did go on to answer some questions that we all are pretty much aware of at this point. And out of all these details that were incorporated into the FAQ page, there were only three prime candidates that stood out the most. One of the biggest details that I find the most important is actually where the FAQ page did go on to reiterate that Marvel's Spider-Man 2 does take place in its own individual universe. And when asked about whether or not the games will connect to the animated Spider-Verse movies, the PlayStation webpage pretty much stated that even though we see a couple of Marvel Spider-Man 2 easter eggs in the recent Spider-Verse film of Across the Spider-Verse, that doesn't mean that the main story of Marvel Spider-Man 2 will connect to the Spider-Verse aspect in any way. Which I personally think is a massive relief considering that this allows Insomniac to truly focus on their own unique Spider-Man narrative that they want to tell in their own games, without needing to forcefully connect to any of the other Spider-Man properties. Properties. But at the very least, I do think that we will see some type of Spider-Verse Easter eggs pop up in Marvel Spider-Man 2. And I still 110% fully believe that we will end up seeing the Miles Morales across the Spider-Verse suit as one of the alternate costumes in the game one way or another. Now, another section of this FAQ page did go on to analyze some brand new gameplay details that are incorporated into Marvel Spider-Man 2 in terms of the accessibility features, which I for one have to give a huge credit to both PlayStation and Insomniac for trying to make as many of their games as accessible as possible, which will certainly allow for even more gamers out there to try and play Marvel Spider-Man 2 in the way that suits them best. And given what this PlayStation webpage went on to analyze, these are the only accessibility features that we know of so far, but I'm sure that there will be more features unveiled in the near future. Whereas the question asked, what are the accessibility gameplay features in Marvel Spider-Man 2? And as the PlayStation webpage answered, is that Insomniac games have devised a range of new and and in-depth accessibility features to create a Marvel Spider-Man experience without barriers. Building on the accessibility improvements in previous titles, these features allow the game to be enjoyed by more players of different abilities, where for the audio, screen reader support will read aloud all on-screen text in menus. And as for the captions, on-screen captions and audio descriptions are available for cinematic scenes. And last but not least is relating to the gameplay, where it states that you can choose to slow down the action to 70%, 50%, or 30% of the full speed, switching back to regular speed at any time. Now, a lot of people seem to be confused as to what exactly that last point means where it says that you can slow down the action, but taking everything that we have seen from Marvel Spider-Man 2 into consideration so far, it's pretty much safe to say that the action in question relates to the traversal mechanics in the game, like the web swinging and web wings, as well as the real-time combat that we will be executing as Peter and Miles, which is not only a great accessibility feature to have in general, but but this slow motion feature will certainly come in handy when it's time to try and take photos during photo mode, and make sure that every shot that you line up looks just right. And to confirm once again is that these are the only official gameplay details that Insomniac and PlayStation have revealed for Marvel Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation website. Whereas I have seen quite a lot of people get confused in thinking that Insomniac have also officially revealed the graphic modes that will be incorporated into Marvel Spider-Man 2, where in reality nothing like that has been 
officially confirmed so far. So it's very important that people read the entire article all the way through first before spreading misinformation of any kind. Now again, I have no doubt in my mind that Insomniac are undoubtedly going to incorporate a 30 FPS fidelity mode and a 60 FPS performance mode in Marvel Spider-Man 2, as well as the performance RT mode which was incorporated into Marvel Spider-Man Remastered and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PS5. But the most important element from this FAQ page does stem from the picture that was attached with it. And just in case this theory ends up being true, just be warned that there are potential massive spoilers ahead for the story of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And if you want to know what they are, just be sure to proceed at your own risk. <laughs> Wow, thanks, Spider-Man. Everybody gets one. Tell him, Peter. Uh, apparently everybody gets one. Bingo. So the biggest thing from this FAQ page is showcasing a brand new image of Black Suit Spider-Man. Where even though we have already gotten a great look at the Black Suit in action in the gameplay demo, it is nice to get a closer look at the front of the suit. Which, in my personal opinion, even though the Ultimate Spider-Man Black Suit is still my personal favorite Black Suit of all time, Insomniac's take on this iconic costume's design is certainly way up there. And I thoroughly love how it's a mix of the alien design for the symbiote, as well as giving it a much more armor look, which the symbiote is trying to replicate in terms of organic material. However, the biggest twist from this image doesn't relate to the picture itself, but the file name that does come along with it. Where, in regards to the other black suit images that are on the PlayStation website, their file names are either listed as black suit all in one word, or simply symbiote. But this picture in particular specifically lists it as Spider-Man 2 Venom image, which may be a technicality considering that Spider-Man in this image is in fact wearing the Venom symbiote, but it also may provide evidence to the theory that Peter Parker himself might end up becoming Venom at some point in the story of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And I know all of you are saying that we have already seen the concept art and the collector's edition statue, which does feature both Miles and Peter fighting Venom, but there's always the chance that Insomniac might be pulling a fast one on us. And we won't know for sure who exactly Venom is going to be until we play the game for ourselves on October 20th. But what makes this whole ordeal even more suspicious is that since people start to call this out, PlayStation has since updated the official website by removing the Marvel Spider-Man 2 FAQ page and the image along with it, which may mean that they're going to further update the FAQ page with more information coming soon, or indeed that the file name for this image was a massive spoiler that they didn't want getting out yet. But nonetheless, I would still say to keep an eye on the PlayStation page just in case they decide to update it with even more information in the future. And speaking of more information, it does look like that we are going to have to wait all the way until September until we receive more details for Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Where if you have been keeping up with all the gaming news lately, you would be aware that there is going to be a brand new gaming event happening on August 22nd with the Jeff Keighley hosted Gamescom. Which despite it being a massive gaming event held in Germany that both Xbox and Nintendo are going to be attending this year, it has been officially confirmed that PlayStation will not be attending Gamescom by any means. We actually know a lot that's going to be there. Both Xbox and Nintendo are going to be there at the show with booths. I think it's Xbox's biggest booth ever. And then Nintendo hasn't been at the show since 2019, so kind of a triumphant return for them. We should know that PlayStation is not going to the show this year. They're choosing to skip it for whatever reason, so... No Spider-Man 2. So for any of you hoping that we might be seeing more of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 during the Gamescom festivities, I would say to dial those expectations back quite significantly. Still, October is right around the corner, and I'm sure that Sony won't want to pass up marketing Marvel's Spider-Man 2 as much as possible before the game releases. So definitely be on the lookout for this channel for when any Marvel's Spider-Man 2 news does come around, because I will make sure to report on it in its entirety by the time we receive it. But until that time comes, everybody, that's the video I have for all you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think of these new details from the PlayStation FAQ page for Marvel Spider-Man 2? And based on everything that we know and have seen of Marvel Spider-Man 2 so far, do you think that Peter might end up becoming Venom at some point in the story? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, and until next time, Peace out.